And welcome back, this time for sure, for the final time in terms of the Let's Play series here in Rain World. I just have a couple tiny little things to just check out. What is going on with this? Why are we... are we really just back in Sky Islands? Do we have some weird tentacle powers as Saint now? Is that a whole new game? Oh, right. I didn't even notice this last time, it just says statistics. It doesn't even say that we can, like, play it. Oops. Yeah, that was that was dumb. Well, I was hoping we could, like, jump back in and see those weird tentacle things, but okay, we can't. Never mind, I'm still doing this episode because, uh, yeah, I just want to, like, look at the, uh, the difference of 5p and moon. So, okay, this one might be pretty short then. Yeah, now, now that feels pretty silly. Well, let's uh, not restart. I mean, we can, just to see what happens, because I've saved everything. It's fine. Boom. Okay, you just, like, get back in. Yeah. And there we are. Unascended. Okay, well, let me load the backup. And we'll just check out Rubicon one final, final, tiny time. Okay, I don't know if this was the right one. Did I load the right save? Let's see. Yeah, this should be the one. So yeah, we'll have to redo a little bit, but since I now know like exactly where to go, and seemingly it doesn't matter if you kill the Guardians or not, as far as I could tell, that just seems to be optional. So we should be able to do this relatively quick. Oh, God, why does it... Oh. There we go. What was I saying? I don't know. I was interrupted. That happens a lot. Yeah, we, we seemingly don't have to kill all the Guardians, like, that didn't seem to do anything, I guess it's just thematic, and yeah, they just, like, lock you in, basically. That's it. I thought something was gonna change because you kill every single Guardian in Rubicon, and, like, you would have to do that to unlock the final place or something, but doesn't seem like it. So which, which way do we go here? I guess right to avoid that Guardian? And yeah, obviously I'm gonna make sure this doesn't take very long, so if we end up dying and stuff I'll be making cuts. I just want to get to the end very quickly, and I feel like we should be fine with that. I think it's better to take the... Uh, outer path as well, instead of going past the memory crypts area. I want to say the other place is better, because, yeah, we have vultures there, but it should be fine. Oh, hi. Uh, do I need the lamp? I mean, let's have the lamp. I looked into these spears because I was just curious, but apparently they're just kind of like random spears. Like, they do generally like up to like three times damage of a normal spear or something, but it's randomized for Saint or something where sometimes they do little damage, sometimes they do a lot of damage or something like that. So it's maybe a little unreliable. Okay, I'm gonna go get food as well from the, uh, the egg bug, so give me a sec. Alright. There we go. Got everything I need. And yeah, we should be able to just, like, run the whole way in one cycle. I don't think I need to hibernate in Underhang, since we now know we can just go straight into 5P. Or I assume, we'll see, maybe there is something that, like, prevents you from going past there because we haven't killed the Guardians. I don't know. That's something to find out. And yeah, you could see there it was definitely the right save, since we didn't have submerged superstructure.
So yeah, I do have to go past the Guardian, but I will go this way. Because I think that's easier than going past the Memory Crypts area, I'm gonna say. Nice, that was clean. Ah, I wonder if you can, like, get through there before he closes it. Okay, but now, kind of the hard part. Assuming we have scissor vultures here. No? Nothing? Well, that works for me. Oh crap, going this way is actually kind of bad, because now we have to go through and kill the other guardian here. Oops. Yeah, didn't really want to do that. But I guess that's fine. And we still haven't killed all of the guardians, because I didn't kill... I didn't kill the one in, in the left. In the industrial complex area, I don't think. Oh yeah, man, that that's... A bit of a problem. Let's rest up a little bit. Because, yeah, maybe it's something where, like, you, you only have to kill a certain amount of them, not every single one. In which case, I may be killing too many now, but, yeah, I guess that's something... You can feel free to let me know about if that is a thing. Like, does it make a difference if you kill the Guardians or not? Or are they just here as obstacles? Because it does seem like they're just obstacles. Here we go. Alright, that should be it. Like, I guess I could still sleep here. It's not like it matters. It's not like we uh, need food in the next cycle, but let's just try and go. No reason to stay. Man. That is definitely way quicker to regen. Yeah, that's nice. Would have been nice to know much earlier. It's kind of hard to notice since, like... Hold on, let me test this. If you're in ascension mode and you use up your ascension meter, it doesn't, like, refill it while you're flying, right? Let's try that. Oh, it does! Okay, yeah, definitely should have noticed that part. That you can, like, be in ascension mode and just fill it up. Yeah, okay, then you definitely should be able to notice that. I just haven't. Still not sure what this screen splitting thing is. I mean, I guess it's just as you get closer to this shattered area of Five Pebbles memory or whatever. Yeah, I love the music here. If I just go, like, up here, that's fine, too. But now if I go left, nothing. Right, yeah, here we have to go in. But it's, like, after this point that maybe it doesn't matter. So now we can go down, but what if I go up instead? Like, top right. I assume I just end up in the same area. Eventually. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It loops around. Here's the superstructure. That kind of... Or not structure, but like the, the box. That kind of makes more sense, honestly, that you then see it. Let me just check the other side. 
yeah, that does look a little more proper because you're like, oh my god, yeah, it's the box. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's cool to see as well. There's a working gravity well. I got a zigzag tongue thanks to that. Wait, am I trapped here? I guess I can do that. Yeah, and then we'll see if they have different dialogue now, but also just like, can I ascend them as well before it ends? Wait, where am I now? Surely I would just loop around, right? Yeah, I've looped around. Okay, makes sense. This kind of reminds me of Outer Wilds. Like, the Echoes of the Eye atmosphere was kind of similar to this. I'm sure if you know, you know. Yep. Yeah, they're just not here. So lonely. So lonely. But yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. That's kind of what I assumed would happen. That you would ascend them and they would now be on this side. But yeah, that's nice. And then we just, like, go up and end it. But okay, in that case, I guess I I should load the new back up again. The, the one from last time. And we'll just go back in and just check. Can I... Now I can't ascend anymore, but yeah, like, could I have ascended them in there? Probably not. I'm assuming just nothing happens, but again, just to answer as many questions as we possibly can. And yeah, I mean, this is just normal ending. I was just wondering if, like, something would change, but if it does, we won't know that. Unless we go through the entire thing, which I don't think I want to do. All right. So give me a second. And I'll be back there again. Huh? That's not the backup I loaded. Okay, I, I guess I just loaded the wrong backup. Oops. That was weird. I thought it, like, did something weird to my backup. Alright. Wait, let's, let's bring a bomb as well. Why not two? Or I should bring a spear, but I guess if we don't see an egg bug on the way. Whoa, why am I so fast? Are you usually that fast? That felt faster than before. Yeah, no egg bug. No, damn it. Ah, I can't get that. Never mind. I'm glad they uh, added that, like, submerged superstructure fuse fix. Because I wonder, would that have not worked here? If you beat Saint before they, like... If you didn't have that mod and before they officially supported that mod, would this just be, like, shut down and not having the, like, fuses happening? Because, yeah, that, that would be underwhelming. Or maybe these ones specifically worked. So we can also just go down. Yep. And there it is, yeah. So now I wonder, oh man, now I wonder what happens if you just ascend one of them and not both? How would their conversations change? Would they just have the same conversation but with the other party, like, deleted? Because that is something that is way too much for me to test. So yeah, I guess that's again something I wonder if anyone knows, like, what happens if you just ascend Moon and then do Rubicon, or you just ascend 5P and then you do Rubicon? 
I guess there's probably stuff like that on the wiki, I would imagine. Hello. Please die. No, okay. Yeah. What about... Ah, I can't attach a bomb. Dot, dot, dot. Now what? Do they flush me out? What are they doing? What's happening? They're trying to stay as far away from this disgustingly gross, awful creature. How could he be so stupid? Don't let it come near me. It'll infect me with its stupidity. Is that what's going on? This almost seems like unintended. I guess they didn't really expect anyone would actually do this. Okay. There you go, on this note, this lovely pleasant note, hey at least they're hugging, that counts for something right? On this note, we end it in Rain World, bit of a short episode but yeah, what else are you gonna do? So I think that's everything I wanted to do in terms of videos of this game, again, like I've said, how many times now? Anyone keeping count? 40? <laughs> I don't know, many many times, as I've said. I will be streaming this, and then once I do, I'll also port that over to YouTube. Probably just, like, adding on to the amount of parts. I did that for the original Rain World. We had, like, two or three streams before Downpour came out, and it was like, oh, I guess ignore streaming the base game now. Let's get to Downpour, and then I started that, this LP again. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff to get to, so we'll see how long that all takes. Again, if I even do everything. I am not promising that I will do 100% of everything, even in streams, but there's at least a lot of stuff that I would like to try, so yeah, we'll see. Again, thank you very much for watching this whole thing, even this pointless episode. I mean, I guess we learned some interesting things. Rain World has finally ended, except not really, but it really has, except not really, but officially it's done. I will see you unofficially next time. Oh, I got kicked out. Crap, I- oh man, if only they had, like, ejected me in the other way, and we could have just floated slowly up through the entire ending, that would have been amazing! Oh, I wonder if that's something that can happen. Oh man, I might have to put that on the, like, to-do list go into past this point with a bomb and kill myself before you drop the bombs and stuff in your hands. We attach that to a wall and then die and see what happens if you just slowly float up through the ending. There's no way that like works, right? But oh man, I kind of have to see that. That goes on the list, I suppose.